Colin Woodall, Vice President of Government Affairs for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. As we look at this new Congress, we're very optimistic at what we see in our ability to advance several of the priority issues of our members in the cattle industry. Uh, one of the biggest ones is in regard to congressional oversight of a lot of the really bad rules that we're seeing out of places like the Environmental Protection Agency, where they continue to move forward on their efforts to try to regulate things such as dust, ammonia, and greenhouse gases. Uh, we know a lot of that is not based on sound science. And so it's really incumbent upon this new Congress to take their oversight responsibilities seriously. We think that they will. They've given us indication that they will. So that means that Administrator Jackson will be brought up to Capitol Hill to explain what's going on and try to justify uh, where she's going. I think that allows us the opportunity to really expose these bad ideas and show that they are not based on sound science. And hopefully by doing that, we can slow this down or hopefully stop a lot of these really, really bad ideas. Trade is an area we're really optimistic. Uh, we are very encouraged by the comments from the President during the State of the Union address to try to get the South Korea Free Trade Agreement completed. Uh, we are supportive of that agreement. And we hope that we can get that done sometime this summer. And that will also set the precedent for getting two other agreements, Colombia and Panama, and also help us as our efforts to try to expand access into Japan, which would take us from 20 months of age and younger up to 30. If we can do that, that's about a billion dollars worth of value in the U.S. cattle industry. And also reestablish access into China, an area that we've been locked out since December 23rd, 2003. So this new uh, uh, interest in trade, not only from the president, but also especially this new House of Representatives, I think is really going to help us. Of course, we're also trying to make sure that we continue the uh, discussion on the GYPSA rule and the overall issue of competition in the marketplace. We want the marketplace to be fair and transparent. We want full uh, enforcement of the Packers and Stockyards Act as it sits now. This GYPSA rule, though, we still find unacceptable because at the end of the day, we do not want the government dictating how a cattle producer can market their cattle, where they can market their cattle, and what that standard price should be. And I think we're going to have the opportunity, once again, with some oversight functions from this Congress, to expose what we think think is a bad idea and something we've been working against for quite some time. And finally, we have a lot of new members of Congress, about 85 of them on the House side alone. And we need to make sure that we continue our education efforts so that they know uh, the difference between a cow and a bull and all the detailed uh, little nuances and issues that we have in this industry, everything from antibiotic use to environment to trade to food safety to nutrition especially since we're coming up against a new farm bill. We need the members of Congress who really understand what the cattle industry is all about. Right.